Today we ask what happens when we start making chimeras. In ancient civilization, chimeras were associated with the gods. Our ancestors thought that the chimeric forms would guard us humans. Perhaps with today's new creations, they can. A modern chimera is defined as an individual, organ or body part consisting of tissue of a diverse genetic constitution. A hybrid created through the fusion of sperm and egg from a different species. A chimera. So why is this important today? Because scientists have just created a human-pig hybrid. Well, the cells at least. This week a group of scientists successfully implanted human stem cells inside a pig and observed them growing. This breaking development could offer a ray of hope to those that need an organ for transplant. A heart or a kidney could now possibly be harvested from a non-human donor animal. The team behind this breakthrough came from Harvard Medical School and George Church College. They have been researching the possibility of diseases jumping from species to species. During their research they discovered that they could manipulate the genetics of a cell and this would eliminate rejection when these cells were transplanted. Using CRISPR, an RNA guided targeted genome editing tool which allows researchers to knock out genes, knock in SNPs, make insertions and deletions in cell lines of an animal's genetic code. This technology in conjunction with other medical breakthroughs such as cell printing and organ printing means we are not far from the choice of animal human hybrid organs, these being available for us to use in transplantation. If you needed an organ, would you be happy to accept an organ grown in or from animal cells? Now I know there will be those that will be opposed to this idea, some on religious grounds and others for ethical reasons. Maybe there is a fear that we will add so much foreign genetic code that we are no longer human. The fact is we have been using animal parts in surgeries for a while now. Xeno transplantations have been used to help those with heart conditions, pig heart valves being used to replace faulty human heart valves. Transplantation itself has been around since the 50s. Human to human organ transplantation have been very successful and doctors have been working on animal to human transplants for almost as long. In the 1960s Keith Riemsma experimented transplanting chimpanzee kidneys into humans. Most of them failed within a few weeks but a woman did live for nine months. Most other attempted xenotransplantations, especially with the heart and lungs, have had a similar degree of success. In 1984 the most famous cross-species transplantation took place. Dr. Leonard Bailey transplanted a baboon heart into an infant baby fae. That heart failed after 20 days but it became a gateway for the first pediatric human to human heart transplant only a year later. With this recent genetic engineering, scientists have been able to keep a pig heart and a pig kidney alive and functioning in a baboon for 136 days. So let's take these ideas and breakthroughs one step further. There are many animals with abilities that a human may wish to acquire. These could be extra abilities or, or, or to make us stronger and could even provide us with a means to stop disease, even aging. We could use a simple example like a hawk or an eagle. Could we reach a point when doctors will be able to transplant or manipulate the cells of the human eye to make it function as well as that of a bird? These new eyes giving the owner greatly enhanced vision? How about changing the genetic code to be more similar to that of apes? This giving the human a denser muscle mass and more strength. These two examples are probably the, the most basic use. How about adding octopus genes? These genes giving us the ability to change the color of our skin. We could add genes from hardier animals to help us withstand disease and perhaps the holy grail, adding genes from animals that would increase our lifespan. Would these manipulations mean we enhance our humanity and kinship with animals? As we change to become more alike, would we develop a more empathetic view of animals? Or would we become monsters? These are the questions that will have to be addressed. As with most medical procedures, they start out as a treatment or a cure, but then often become an enhancement. If we do not ask questions about xenotransplantation and the creation of chimeras, 
we could be opening a Pandora's box. We really don't want to find ourselves living in a world of Dr. Monroe. What do you think the future holds? Do you agree with cross-species transplantation? Would you like an animal organ or ability? If so, what and why? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked it, please hit that like button. Subscribe to keep up to date. There are new videos posted every week. Till next time.